Hey, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Um, today I wanted to go over a couple of kind of formatting and interesting little, uh, I guess, kind of what I thought were quirks in Todoist that turned out to be some pretty neat features. Um, and I thought it was interesting enough that I wanted to share it in case other people were either looking for this or perhaps stumbled across it and weren't sure exactly what was happening. Um, so first off, this is kind of funny just for me. I came across this. I had no idea you could format text. But it makes sense. You can use kind of a markup if you've done any sort of uh, markup or HTML stuff. This will be familiar. It's just very simple um, commands. You can look up the full list online. Todoist has a great um, layout with all of their text formatting. But for bold, you can use double exclamation marks on either side of the text, and you get that bold, which is pretty nice. And then you can do italics with the asterisks. Um, and then if you'll notice though, this task has no complete button, which is interesting. So how I actually found this was not via the text formatting, but I believe it was when I imported a task from um, Slack and I did it automatically using either IFTTT or Zapier to automate something. And it came in, I just, the whoever had written me a message had started it with an asterisk. And when I imported it in here, I got this. I was like, wow, that's weird. I thought maybe it was something went wrong with the import or, you know, there was something else like that going on. Because what this means is you can't complete it, right? There's no button to click to mark as a completed task. You can delete it like normal, but that's it. So actually, it turns out there's some interesting stuff you can do with this. Um, so not so interesting right here, but let's say we're in personal and we want to set up some sort of a subtask. So I've already done this here. What you can see is I started it with an asterisk and I said big task, just giving it some name. And then I have this task. So I just wrote it as one task and then I just kind of bump it over and it's now a subtask of big task, right? So you can collapse and do all this. So this is interesting, but let's say I hadn't used this asterisk. Okay, you can still have this hierarchy here, but if I click on this, the whole thing goes away. Okay, so that may be a feature you want, but it may not be. So let's put something back here and say big, big task, and then we're going to ask one. Okay, we're going to add that and I'll just bump it over. Okay, so now this is kind of handy. You can have it and it acts more like a header than a task, and you don't have to worry about deleting it. Because again, if you click on that little complete button, you're going to delete all subtasks. So hopefully this is something you can put to work for yourself. I have found it pretty interesting and it's kind of funny how I stumbled across it. Um, but I think there's a lot of possibilities here for um, using things as a kind of a header in Todoist. So hopefully this is useful for you and you can find out some ways to use it in your own work.